Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you've created or received copies of a shared workbook into which different users have made different changes, you can take those workbook files and merge the changes together into a single workbook. There are a few requirements that the files must meet before you can merge them together. First, all merged workbooks must be copies of the original shared workbook. They must all have different file names, but must all be located in the same folder. They cannot have passwords applied to them. They must also have change tracking in effect since the copies were created, and they must have been tracking the change history. Also note that if you merge multiple copies, changes in the last workbook copy that you merge will replace any conflicting changes in the workbook into which you are merging. To merge shared workbooks, make sure that you have all of the copies to be merged located in the same folder with different file names. Next, you need to add a button to the Quick Access Toolbar for this function, which does not appear in the ribbon. To do this, you can click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button at the right end of the Quick Access Toolbar. Then select the More Commands choice from the Buttons drop-down menu. In the Customize category of the Excel Options window that appears, select the All Commands choice from the Choose Commands from drop-down. Then scroll through the listing of commands until you find the Compare and Merge Workbook. Click it to select it and then click the Add button to move it into the list at right. Then just click the OK button to finish. Then just click the name of the original shared workbook out of the open dialog box or from the list of recently accessed documents and just make sure that's open. And once that's open, go ahead and click the Compare and Merge Workbooks. So you open the original shared workbook. That's going to then launch the Select Files to Merge into the Current Workbook dialog box. And here you select the copies of the workbook that you want to merge into the open copy or original shared workbook. Note that if you do select more than one copy in this dialog box, the order in which they appear will be the order in which they're merged into the open workbook. Now when you finish selecting the file or files to merge into the open workbook, click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.